Hi, New Hope. So good to be with you. Again, uh, this is Pastor Brett coming to you from our beautiful Yulestead Chapel. And I'm excited to share with you the rest of the story on another great hymn of the church, The Old Rugged Cross. But first, a scripture that speaks to the power of the cross. It's found in 1 Peter chapter 2, uh, verses 22 through 25. And in this section of scripture, Peter is speaking to the work of the cross and uh, what Jesus accomplished. Starting in verse 22, it reads, He never sinned, nor ever deceived anyone. He did not retaliate when he was insulted, nor threaten revenge when he suffered. He left his case in the hands of God, who always judges fairly. He personally carried our sins in his body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By his wounds, you are healed. Once you were like sheep who wandered away, but now you have turned to your shepherd, the guardian of your souls. Seldom can a worship leader suggest a time for favorites from any congregation without receiving at least one request for the old rugged cross. This gospel hymn, a sentimental favorite of Christians and unsaved alike, was written by George Bernard in 1913. It is generally conceded to be the most popular of all 20th century hymns. George Bernard was born in Youngstown, Ohio, but his parents soon moved to Albia, Iowa, and later to Lucas, Iowa. It was here that young George made his personal acceptance of Christ as his Savior. Following the death of his father, before George was 16 years of age, he entered the ranks of the Salvation Army. Bernard and his first wife served for a period of time as officers in this organization. Consequently, Bernard was ordained by the Methodist Episcopal Church, where his devoted ministry was highly esteemed. For some time, he was busily involved in conducting revival services, especially in the states of Michigan and New York. One time, after returning to Michigan, he passed through a trying experience which caused him to reflect seriously about the significance of the cross and what the Apostle Paul meant when he spoke of entering into the fellowship of Christ's suffering. As Bernard contemplated these truths, he became convinced that the cross was more than just a religious symbol, but rather the very heart of the gospel. George Bernard has left the following account regarding the writing of this hymn. The inspiration came to me one day in 1913 when I was staying in Albion, Michigan. I began to write the old rugged cross. I composed the melody first. The words that I first wrote were imperfect. The words of the finished hymn were put into my heart in answer to my own need. Shortly thereafter, it was introduced at a special meeting in Pokagon, Michigan on June 7, 1913. The first occasion where it was heard outside of the church at Pokagon was at the Chicago Evangelistic Institute. There it was introduced before a large convention, and soon it became extremely popular throughout the country. Shortly after writing this hymn, George Bernard sent a manuscript copy to Charles Gabriel, one of the leading gospel hymn composers of that era. Gabriel's prophecy, you will certainly hear from this song, was soon realized as the old rugged cross became one of the most widely published songs either of sacred or secular in this country. Bernard continued his evangelistic ministries for 40 additional years following the writing of this hymn. He wrote other favorite gospel hymns, but none ever achieved the response of the old rugged cross. On October 9, 1958, at the age of 85, Bernard exchanged his cross for a crown. He spent the last years of his life a few miles north of Reed City, Michigan. Near this home, there still stands a 12-foot high cross with the words, The Old Rugged Cross, home of George Bernard, composer of this beloved hymn. Although it has often been stated that we do not worship the cross as such, but rather the Christ of the cross, 
one cannot ponder the truths of Christ's atonement without a keen awareness of the centrality of the cross in God's plan of redemption for lost mankind. I am so grateful for the old rugged cross. I'm so thankful for a savior, Christ, Jesus, our Messiah, who chose to hang there on that cross in my place. I trust this hymn will bless you, the old rugged cross. thankful for the old rugged cross. God bless you.